We created a $166,000 a month agency without recruiting a single agent, and here's how. A few months ago, Tim and I created a Facebook group showing insurance agents how to run Facebook ads, and then it turned into something completely different. The first challenge we held as a group was making sure that everyone could collectively write 300,000 so that Tim and I could, get, could even get office furniture. Fast forward three months, office furniture showed up at our door and the challenge was completed. But then things got crazy. We decided to give away a trip to Mexico. A a random drawing that you could enter to win by simply posting your sales from that day and the numbers exploded. In about two months, we over doubled the amount of premium that was written in the group from 300K to 664,000. In just four short months, the group was averaging $166,000 a month. While obviously this isn't a real agency, you know, we don't accept contracts or anything. Agents that are using our system and implementing the strategies that we go over in this group are on pace to hit two mil this year in production, $2 million in annual premium this year alone. So today I brought you one of the top three producers producers to tell you exactly how you can do the exact same thing. Eris, what's going on? How are you? Hey, what's going on? Really good. Yeah, not too much. I know we uh, we were talking a little bit before this, kind of joking around and everything, but I know you're getting a lot of questions from people wondering if, if, if you're hiring and, and all the things after the achievements you've, you've kind of gotten going here. So I'm going to, first, I'm going to let them learn a little bit about you and then, you know, maybe how they can contact you. So I'm curious, what is your strategy for getting leads currently? Yeah, so our strategy is basically targeting parents because we're parents, right? We have five kids. So uh, finding that niche you can actually relate to is a big deal when you're actually building that relationship with your clients and having them trust you, right? Um, so just delivering that message in our ads, you know, um, for parents that, you know, if something were to happen to them, you know, what would you do, right? So it's kind of like a big question mark. And so um, the ads have really, you know, helped us target those parents more, like more all over the world, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, so what would you say are like three components or like maybe the three secrets to your success in targeting parents and, and kind of like writing as much business? And then uh, obviously we're going to get to the numbers after this, but I'm curious, like what would what would you attribute your success to in, in like three different categories? Yeah, so in the last month, I would say uh, three things that we actually focused on. Um, one would be, you know, thinking big, right? So we have big goals, big personal goals, and also big team goals. Um, so thinking big is like the biggest one. Um, another one will be having a positive mental attitude, right? Because you may run into people that don't want to talk to you, right? Just keeping yourself in uh, your same energy, I think. Not letting anything negative come towards you. Just keeping that positive mental attitude 24-7. I think that's one of the biggest things as well. Um, another one will be having clear goals. So obviously thinking big, right? But having a clear goal so you know exactly what you want to hit. And when you have that big, clear goal, it's kind of like, you'll you know supersede it right because you're keeping your mental attitude so that's all it all goes together so i want like you know obviously what everyone's wondering is um what what kind of numbers have you gotten so how much have you spent on leads mm -hmm. what kind of business are you writing how many clients have closed how much total ap what does that look like so i would say we spent around 1500 on our leads um and this has been in the past month so everything is super new like we're new to this right um, first timers, right? Um, we got about 190 leads in the last month, so around 200. Um, and then we actually closed about 12 clients that are, you know, that are already approved. Um, so about 6,500, uh, we do term, right? So 6,500 for clients that's already been approved. And then we got about five clients waiting for approval, which I think they have a good chance. That's about four grand left. You're looking at about a 10.5 to one return on investment if they all get approved. Yeah. Wow, that uh, you know, Fortune 500 companies would probably commit like first degree to get a double digit <laughs> return on their investment. That's insane. Right. I'm curious because I know there's going to be like people in the comments that are going to be super like super feeling like they can relate to you. And, and and I know I know they're not getting to see Eddie in this video, but I'm curious, like, are you are you hiring or are you building an agency? Or are you just a personal producer? What does that look like? Yeah, so we are. So obviously, when you are teaching a team, you want to make sure that you have it all together first, right? Because you want everybody making money right, right then and there, right? Yeah. So I feel like uh, right now we are hiring, we are accepting um, applications for, um, you know, for you to work from home, uh, any state, right? So just pass a background check and we're pretty much uh, take you through your licensing. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Wow. So I mean, guys, ladies and gentlemen, Eris Sims has been able to get a 10 and a half double digit return on her investment, which is absolutely absurd. And uh, you said this was your first month in working with us, right? Yes. Wow. 
That's it's like awesome. my second month doing, doing leads. So second month doing leads. Okay. Wow. Like, and just start, this is the second month, like the, just the beginning of the second month. So yeah, it's only going up from here. So it's super impressive. I love to see it. And uh, like you guys said, I mean, you, you, if you're an insurance agent freedom in our Facebook group, you can click the link down below and uh, ask Miss Aris questions yourself if you'd like. She's very open and honest in the group. You'll see her posting a ton of sales. So if you want to keep up with what she's doing in the industry, be sure to click that link down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we've got Dan Levengood here. He's only working part time and has more production than most agents that are working full time. Dan, tell me about your strategy for getting leads currently. Yeah, thanks. So. I'm 100% um, self-generating my own leads through your program. Okay. You okay. know, historic, I've been in the business about four years and I've done everything from direct mail drops to purchasing from other Facebook vendors at one point. And right around end of September, early October of last year, I decided to kind of just make the commitment and invested in you guys and have been 100% uh, exclusively generating my own leads since then. We'll get to the numbers here in a second, ladies and gentlemen, but Dan, before they hear your numbers, I want, the, I want them first to kind of get an idea of what are your three uh, secrets for success? What's your secret sauce? The three things that you would recommend to anyone to start seeing the results that you're seeing, and then we'll get, a, we'll get an idea of what those numbers are. So I'd say, you know, the first thing is being comfortable and confident investing in yourself, right? Um, to Absolutely. do it right, you know, everyone will tell you it's not it's not um, a dirt cheap um, entry point. You know, so you need to be comfortable investing in yourself up front, and get to kind of get things going. Uh, number two, you got to have the work ethic. You know, you mentioned that I'm part time, but when I am when I am out in the field, I'm I'm humping it. You know, all day or several hours that day. You got you got to have that work ethic. Yeah, and yep. I'd say number three, having a process. Right, so you know, I was taught a very good process when I started. Uh, I started as a face-to-face -face agent. I remain face-to-face -face today. The, the process hasn't changed for the last 75 years that people have been selling life insurance. And so I'd say sticking to that process and working really hard. Gotcha. So you're saying stick to the process, be comfortable investing in yourself. And I think it cut out there for a second. What was the, uh, the, was the, the work? Ethic? Yeah. The work ethic. You know, the work ethic. Okay. Yeah. So whether I'm out five or six days a week or two or three days a week, the work ethic is still there, right? You you, you still you still want to get yourself moving in the morning. You want to get out at a decent hour. You want to hit your appointments. You want to door knock in between. You want to follow up on anything maybe from the week before. You know, mean what you say and say what you mean. That's that's kind of what I what I refer to when I talk about work ethic. One thing that I've, that I've always done is I'll say I will make a commitment to myself and. Regardless of what hour it is, I don't leave that day until it's done. Wait, like, hey, I'm not leaving the day without three apps. Like, dude, it, just, it gets really hard to leave the day without three apps, and you make that promise, and you're and you're willing to keep it. So, for those of the of the agents that don't know about the numbers that you have been putting up, as I think only working was two days a week or three days a week. Yeah, pretty much two days. Two days a week. Tell us a little bit about where you're at there. How many clients have you gotten? How many? You know, how much are you spending? Kind of give us some of the numbers there. Yeah. So I jotted a few numbers down here before the call. Um, since I started in October, I've spent about three uh, thirty one hundred dollars generating my own leads. Okay? okay, and again, this is just since October first, so <clears throat> not even five full months yet. Um, so I've got of the thirty one hundred dollars, I've generated about three hundred three hundred and thirty nine leads. So that is an average cost of nine dollars and fourteen cents per lead. Okay. And again, you know, this, some of these numbers continue to go down, um, you know, as I invest more, you know, I will be back in the field full time, probably in about a month from now. And so my daily spend will go back up and the average averages will come back down. Um, there for a while we were, we were bouncing between seven and $9 on average per lead. So once I, once I bump up my daily spend again, that average will come down. So of the um of the 339 leads i've written 52 apps so that's about a 15 percent um success ratio on the number of leads that i'm getting and yeah. i've generated over forty five thousand dollars in ap um on those 52 apps so the the forty five thousand divided by the 3100 that i've put in is about a 14 to 1 return on investment just in the leads. Now, obviously we've got gas and, you know, other expenses, um, yep. but just from a lead standpoint, uh, 14 to one is um, awesome. 
That yeah. is insane. Working two days a week, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's done 45K in business off of three grand in ad spend. That's insane. Um, I love, I love that you're, you're out there face to face in the, in the trenches. That's, that's where Tim and I came from. You know, we've always got a special love for it. I think that's absolutely insane. I think it's crazy that you're, that you're doing that. Some of the agents are going to, are going to see 45 K working two days a week. And they're going to wonder like, huh, when, how can I start doing that? And, uh, I think the answer is pretty simple. It's in the the secrets to success, the work ethic, the commitments. Yeah. 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 And you know, I, I hear, I hear a lot of these folks talking about, you know, a, a big part of the the, mo the the market going to telemarketing. And, and I considered it, you know, there was a time when I thought about doing that and obviously saving the wear and tear and the gas and all that is appealing, but I, I'm just a face-to-face -face guy, you know, which, which makes, especially when it comes to Facebook, you know, I'm getting about 10 to 12% of the, of the leads will book their own appointments. Those are super high intent leads, you know, probably half of my 52 apps have come from folks that booked their own appointment. Wow. I do, I do still use a call screener and she's normally able to get maybe another 10, another 10 to 15% to book over the phone. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down with about, you know, 20 to 25% of the leads that come in, which leaves another 75% that I, I still, again, my process is that I try to resolve every lead, which means I, I get out there and door knock, right? probably you know a, a really high percent a good percent of that 52 apps has come from door knocking so if you don't do that you're you're really leaving a lot of money on the table you need to do it you need to get good at it you need to get comfortable you know i'm not that guy that's going to sell you know ice to an eskimo i i really i, I view myself really more as uh, you know my mentality is I'm really there to serve them, to help them, to educate them on, on what could happen to their family if we don't do something. And here's what can happen. And, and I can either, you know, bring a check to them or they can receive a bill, right? It, it's really up to them. And so I think my style of low pressure, more of an educational type conversation, I think that helps a lot too. But again, the Absolutely. work ethic and door knocking, super important. Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks, Dan. I think that was uh, super helpful to everyone watching this. The next agent that we're going to be interviewing is going to be Sebastian Diaz. Now, this guy's a stud. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, doing good, man. Happy to be here. Good. Good to have you, man. So what is your current strategy for getting leads? So I'm doing self-generated leads, you know? So I, I did the program with you guys, and I uh, haven't paid for a lead and i think it's been like since december i think i, I bought the last one and they just been you know so i've been self-generating my own leads from since working with you guys okay and uh tell us a little bit about your numbers what do you like how many leads have you gotten how many sales have you made how many clients what kind of ap are you adding like catch us up where are you at currently for those of us who don't know yeah yeah man i mean I, i'll be honest it, it definitely at first it kind of you know was something to kind of get used to very different um it, it's changed my business around meaning i can control how much i spend wrote some stuff down here leads Spent since they started working with you guys, I think the first sale I got was November 1st that I have off self gen. Nice. So, in total lead spend, I, I've spent $4,161.55. Nice. That's gotten me 444 leads. So it's a, it's about about nine bucks a lead, right? That's good. You know, so off of that though, I've written just on the final expense alone, I've written about give or take about 35 clients and about $2,100 in monthly premium. So you know, times 12 annual premium that would be out. You know, that would come out $25,204.92. And so that's that's kind of my return on it. I've had a couple of clients fall off, of course, but yeah. I mean, you know, and that, that does happen, but but yeah, I mean, overall, it's uh, I'm seeing some good returns, man. I'm seeing something, you know, where I can kind of control my lead spend and try to attack as many customers, you know, not attack, but you know what I mean. Try to get on the phone with as many clients as I can. Not attack. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're doing some good stuff in the industry. Like what you're doing right now is what most agents in the business are trying to do. They're trying to own their own business. They're trying to make their own money, make their own schedule, and kind of just take the you know reins back into their hands, right? So. 
Right. For an agent watching this, what are the three secrets to the success that you've had currently and maybe something I can take away from those? The three secrets? I mean, I would say, you know, work your leads. I mean, it's it's, it's as easy as just kind of getting behind. I, I've slacked. I'll, I'll be honest with you, Julian. I feel like maybe I could have done better. I've been renovating this house here, so I haven't been able to work as hard as I wanted to. You know, I did go hard during open enrollment, and that's nice. one of the reasons that I, I didn't write as much FE because my leads were primarily FE. Now I've got, did my own health insurance leads. So I've got to start got the, you know got that going so biggest secret is just just get on the phone you know eight hours a day just pick a schedule and you know call your leads call your people have influx what i'm learning with johnny is he's he increases his amount per day so i've, I've been doing that slowly i'm more of like i try to be very conservative with my spend and what i'm bringing in but but yeah i mean over the last couple of months i'm seeing like a 6s returns uh, about six times return so don't be afraid of spending more money if you're if you're making that back you know you're betting on yourself so number one is you know work the leads follow up with them call them three times call them in the afternoon you know, try to hit them up with a couple times throughout the, the week. I think you guys have it set at 15. I try to hit them 12 to 15. And I'm texting a lot of my Spanish leads. I'm texting up front. And I've been getting a lot of more kind of responses and getting them warm before I get them on the phone. So that and, uh, you know, up in the spend a little bit. I know it's it's scary to kind of spend money, but if, if you're getting that return, I mean, most people should be able to get at least a 4X return and it's coming back. And and another thing is, is I got this from you, Julian, of course, you know, in the business for a while, but referrals. I've actually been working a lot of referrals. I do a lot of health insurance as well. That's my that's my bread and butter when it comes to like open enrollment time, ACA, private plans, dental, vision. So once I'm done with the life, I'll transition. And I've, I, I'm not even accounting the 25K, you know, that I made over that amount. That's not including health insurance clients that's just strictly wow. FE. awesome cool well i want to say thank you sebastian for coming on here today i feel like there's a lot that people can learn from you and what you're doing currently those takeaways those are huge working referrals like he's talking about raising your spend hitting eight hours a day on the phone this is high quality stuff thank you sebastian we'll, thank you we'll, thank you julian yeah man we'll talk soon, talk yeah, soon. i love what you guys are doing on the group man i'm learning a lot and i like the activity there let's keep it moving you know, yeah man yeah, let's do it let's do it all right you take care man See ya. So if you want to start writing more business and you want to learn more about how you can do exactly what everyone in this video is doing, go ahead and click that link down below to schedule a call and learn more. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.